In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Topo Designs Day Pack. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we do travel gear reviews like this all the time, as well as other pack reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Topo Designs Day Pack. A nice little day pack to put inside of a larger travel bag for use when you get to your destination or just riding around the city with. Let's jump in. Topo generally creates an outdoorsy aesthetic for a lot of their packs, partly for the functionality and partly for the heritage look. It's a similar look to a Herschel bag, but you're gonna find a lot better materials going on with this pack. The exterior is a 1000D Cordura, which is pretty much a standard when it comes to durable nylon. This pack in particular, we have a leather lash tab at the top here, and then this leather portion at the bottom here, but there's a ton of different styles and looks to this bag, some with leather, some without, and a ton of color options. Opposite of that patch, we've got a Topo Designs logo here, which is small and tasteful, just enough to know that you have a Topo pack without screaming it. And jumping ahead a bit, the interior is going to be a pack cloth. In this version, we have this nice fluorescent line here, which is gonna be great to see a lot of your black gear on the inside or darker colored gear, especially in lower light. And to wrap up the exterior, there's a seriously massive YKK zipper in here. It's an exposed coil number five YKK zipper, seriously a massive zipper for this little pack. And to note, Topo produces this pack in the United States. Starting with that leather lash tab in the upper right hand corner of the front side of the pack, this is also called a pig snout depending on which circle that you run in. So you can call it pig snout. Some people might know what you're talking about, others may not. But there's actually some really great function to this thing. So it's basically a loop here, reinforced with the stitching all around. So I've seen people hang like shoes off of these things, just generally a place to hang things from your pack. But I would say that Topo includes this specifically for aesthetic reasons as well as functional reasons. Definitely gives that heritage look to the pack overall. There are two water bottle pockets on the side made of that 1000D Cordura, and then you have that high-vis interior here. Now, the one thing with these water bottle pockets that I think could maybe be improved upon a little bit is that they're not super stretchy. There's really relatively no stretch at all. So you're gonna be kind of restricted to certain size water bottle pockets, but these are on both sides of the pack. So if you have two smaller water bottles or maybe an umbrella, something else that you wanna put in here uh, that's a little bit longer in shape, Definitely gonna have some luck putting that in. Just note that this pack is not super stretchy when it comes to the water bottle pockets. We also have six nylon loops going on here. Perfect for holding on to as a zipper pull. Adds to the overall aesthetic of that heritage look and has some great function as well for hanging like carabiners off of or you know anything that you need to do on the exterior of your pack. And lastly, you've got this nylon loop right here. We're not exactly sure what this is for. It's about the same size as this loop at the top that you can use to either hang the pack on a branch or a hook inside of your house, apartment, Airbnb, whatever. Um, we're not exactly sure what this is for, so if you know what it is, let us know in the comments. We asked Topo about two or three other things with this pack and they were super patient with us and answered all of our questions. Um, so we decided not to email them yet again to ask about this. So let us know in the comments if you know what that's for. Moving on to the harness system, pretty decent for a pack of this size. You have these nicely padded mesh lined straps going on here. Two D-rings here to hang off any additional accessories. And now it's important to note that that mesh does not exist on the back panel of this pack. So that's maybe one option for improvement with this thing. Maybe there's a little bit of mesh back paneling here to add some additional um, kind of ventilation for you when you're carrying this thing around. Other than that, pretty solid harness system for a pack of this size. All right, moving on to the inside of the pack. We're gonna start with this slash pocket near the top. There's ample room in this thing. Uh, the interior has this high visibility liner as well. Goes all the way down to the bottom of the pack here. And you have some space on the top. So with this opening, it's a little bit hard to pack and organize things in here. It's just gonna be better to like toss items in here. Typically, flatter will work better in this pocket, although there is some ability to have this stretch out a little bit more. Most bulkier items you're gonna to want to put into that main compartment. Jumping into the horseshoe opening of this pack, you're gonna be greeted by this high visibility pack cloth interior here. You've got room for about a 15 inch laptop here. Um, most 15 inch laptops will fit in here. There's ample space and some decent flexibility here. And then you've got this nice organizational system here that provides just enough organization without getting bulky or in the way. 
You've got a small YKK zip right here that's gonna be a zippered compartment going to the bottom of this blue area right here. And then you've got a small pocket on the side here, a little bit wider than the size of a credit card. You've got a pocket here for like a pen or a pencil or a stylus, anything that you're carrying with you. And then the remainder of the space is another divider right here. So this is a nice little unit, lays flat if you don't wanna use it, but you do have options for additional organization within this pack should you choose to utilize them. At the time of this review, we've been testing the Topo Designs Day Pack for about two months on and off around Detroit. Although we haven't taken it on a trip yet, we usually try to take all our packs at least on one trip, we can say that we're confident in the durability based on the materials that Topo uses, and in our use so far, it's held up very well. Plus, in practice, we've found that organization system to be just right when taking this thing around the town with regular everyday items. All right, so to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, that high visibility fluorescent liner is really helpful for seeing gear inside the pack. The organizational features in the pack are just right and they don't get in the way should you not wanna use them. And lastly, there are very durable materials used on this pack from the YKK zippers to the 1000D Cordura to the pack cloth. With that USA craftsmanship, everything comes together to create a really nice experience in a day pack. On to some of the cons, the water bottle pockets are a little bit rigid. There's no mesh back panel. And lastly, the slash pocket can be a little bit hard to utilize depending on what you put inside. Overall, the Topo Designs Day Pack is a great little pack that's good for buzzing around the city or laying flat in a larger travel bag for use when you get to your destination. The organization is just right and well thought out, plus the high visibility liner is a huge plus. It's a great, durable choice for a pack, even with our coupled nitpicks. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Topo Designs Day Pack. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for that newsletter and never miss an update. We'll see you in the next video. Topo generally, Topo generally, hmm. Ni not nylon interior, it's pack cloth. Ooh, that's a bold claim. Bold claim, bold claim alert. <laughs>